In this video, I'll show you how to create an SRT file or any subtitle file for an audio file in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because for the longest time ever, I've always thought you cannot do or import audio clips in Subtitle Edit. Poor me. Now, it's a little bit confusing because when we want to import media in Subtitle Edit, we go up to Video and click on Open Video File. And I wish they had the option that clearly shows Open Audio File. This would be really awesome. But when you click on Open Video File and then click on Open Video File, now it is going to take you to the folder that uh, is the default and you can navigate to the folder with the audio file you want to create subtitles for. Now, remember you cannot add subtitles uh, to the audio file. But now, when you look at this dialog box, it indicates video files, but there's a drop down. If I click on that, there's the option to select audio files, and then there's the option for all files. So you'll, see, you'll be able to see the video and the audio files. So I'll click on audio files first, and you're now going to see the audio files available. If I click on one, let's say I click on this and click on open, our audio file is going to be added. You'll see it here, and then let's click on uh, click to add waveform. Let's just do that. And there's the waveform. From this, you can start creating your subtitles the way you want to. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because at times clients only give you audio files to work with. They don't want you working with the video files. Now, this is going to work for you. So you can just uh, create manually, whatever. You can just click on this uh, or use shortcuts insert new video at video position and then you can just right click or whatever play selection hi and welcome back so this goes something like uh sorry hi and welcome back you can keep doing that uh let's listen to this one insert let's listen to this let's just bring it back play selection just try and use uh, the shortcuts for this my name is david this is my name is David. So whatever, you can just keep doing that for the remainder of this particular video. That's more or less the manual way of creating subtitles inside here. Now, let's just uh, delete this. Yes, delete those two lines and then use the automatic uh, way of creating subtitles in subtitle edit and that is you need to go to video and then click on video stroke audio to text just click on that and the reason why i say this might ease your work is because when you use these different voice models and uh, call this speech recognition uh, you can choose a model and i believe in uh, the version i think this is 3.6.5 in version 3.6.6 that is coming out, out in about a month, it's going to be possible to use the larger VOSK models to actually do this. Now, the good thing is you can use post-processing, line merge, fixed casing, punctuation, etc. So it's going to do the heavy lifting for you. And then let's click on generate. It's loading the, the model, transcribing audio to text. Then you see how many minutes uh, are remaining but I believe this is a small file, should not take this long. So uh, one of the things I wish uh, the, the folks at uh, Subtitle Edit can do is just add the option to, uh, for example, add an extra menu here for audio. That would be really awesome to have it clear that you can easily just click on audio and use audio. Because as I've mentioned for the longest time ever, I've always thought you cannot import audio files in subtitle edit now our audio is almost transcribed and this is actually very good especially if you're having one speaker or two speakers no crosstalk etc now there is our video uh, it's already transcribed our, our, our subtitles and we can just play it and see how it's going to look like hi and welcome back my name is david and in this video i'll show you how to separate or ungroup video and audio in kden live now it's done a pretty good job. Actually, the only section that it's missed is this Caden Live. Uh, and then we can just go to this section. Let's begin. 
So I've got my video here and let me just drag it onto Caden Live. So onto Caden Live. So what you can do for this, uh, I believe you can actually uh, either automate uh, the replace for this. I believe it should be somewhere here. You can just go for replace anywhere it mentions Kid in Life. So you can just do that. But let me just uh, Kid in Life onto Kid in Life. I, I believe that this could ease my work. I'm already 12 seconds in. Instead of typing it manually, etc. That is how you can actually create an SRT subtitle file because the default is an SRT a sub -rip, a subtitle file or any other subtitle file that you may want from an audio file in subtitle edit it's pretty easy you can either do it manually or you can either do it automatically using the vsk models and speech recognition so that's it from me until next time stay safe and never stop learning